In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, different kinds of data and some graphical summaries of them. So first of all, numerical data, or quantitative data, is data in the form of a number. And it can be either continuous or discrete. Um, the number of hours you work in two weeks, uh, uh, time can be measured, so it would be a continuous data. Uh, you can work, for example, 50 hours or 52 hours, but you could also work uh, 53 and a half hours or 53.8 hours or 60.25 hours. Um, now, if you work 60.25 hours, you might actually just be paid for 60, but you can actually work times in between 60 or 61 or 62, for example. Discrete numerical data are data that are generally just whole numbers. You can't have values in between integers. So, for example, when you throw two dice, you could have a sum of 2 or 3 or 4 up to 12, but you can't get a sum of 2.5 or 8.2. You can only get whole number sums. Now, categorical data or qualitative data is non-numerical, and it can, it can be grouped or sorted by some category. So on the second page here, um, qualitative data can be ordinal, and ordinal means it can be ranked or ordered. So here's a couple of examples. Let's say you're asking people on a survey to rate something as good or poor, effective or not effective, to agree or disagree with a statement. Uh, so those are things that can be ordered. So here's an example down here, and this is what the um, survey results could look like. Uh, if you're asking someone to completely disagree, disagree, have no opinion, agree, or completely agree, then that's what that ordinal data would look like. Now, qualitative data can also be nominal, uh, and that's data that cannot be ranked or ordered. So, for example, the color of something, something, its texture, names of things, gender. And here's an example of categorical nominal data uh, where people live in a, in a city. Uh, they could, in this example, they could live in the west end, the city center, east end, or the projects. And so the, what we're interested in is their location. Now, while it's true, it's actually saying how many, which seems to be numerical, uh, the main point of this is just where they actually live, their location, the West End, the city center, etc. And so that's why we would c consider it to be nominal data. Uh, last example here, I've got four different graphs. We're asked what kind of data is shown, and then to make a comment on the data. Now, your comment might not necessarily be the same as what I'm going to say here. There's certainly more than one appropriate or correct answer for to make a comment on each of these. And the first one, it has to do with when uh, people have privacy concerns being online. Uh, for example, in finding a new job, using social media, photos of your, finding photos of yourself, shopping online or online banking. And this would be an example of categorical nominal data. Um, we're not ordering it. There are categories here, but there's no particular order other than uh, the online banking is the largest and shopping online is the next largest, etc. So, But there's no particular order to them. We would norm you normally put those things in order from largest to smallest, but uh, as just sort of a convention that's used. Uh, one comment I might make on this is that the biggest privacy concerns seem to be having things to do with money. Uh, for example, the shopping online or online banking. So the biggest privacy concern seems to be centered around money. The uh, next one here, music studying reasons. Reasons for listening to music while you're studying. So this again is categorical nominal data. There are categories here, but there's no particular rank or order to them. Uh, while well, you're actually saying the percentage of people that uh, are in each category, again, the categories themselves don't have any particular order. Uh, one comment about this data is that helping focus and to block out noise are two of the major reasons for people using music while they study. Is the town council doing a good job? This would be ordinal data uh, because there is an order or rank to it that people uh, go from completely disagree to completely agree. Okay, so this is ordinal data. And it seems like uh, more than half of the people are somewhat happy, so these three categories from neutral to agree or completely agree, that more than half the people are at least somewhat happy with how the town council is operating. Uh, last one here, temperature of heated water. This would be qualitative continuous data. 
Uh, it's continuous because you can have uh, times or temperatures in between whole numbers, and it's certainly numerical. The time is a number, and the temperature at those times is also a number. And it seems that temperature rises as time rises. This could be, for example, heating water in a kettle. Uh, the longer you heat it, the hotter it gets. And that's the end of the video.